order to the information that's being listed. So one comes before two, two comes after three, three is more important than four, like that. Or is the next step or the next iteration, do you get it? Whereas with unordered list, all of the information um, is, basic, is, is equal in importance, okay? This is a semantics. And in, that kind of information is important to your, end, to your end user, okay? All right, so let's say we've got this, we've got this bulleted list. Um, oh, oh, let me just drop away and seg back into that and say that if you, if you do any other thing to create a bulleted list or a numbered list, if you just go in there and type a one before something and then that two period and something, do, you know, do something like Maybe. that, any, any other way than using the dialogue in, in uh, Word, the little toolbar, this, these uh, options right there, you, uh, you, those items are not associated with each other. It, it is not, it may look like a list, it is, it is a pretty thing, but it does not actually communicate information to the end user. Does that make sense? Okay. And the same with bulleted list. If you just drop a bullet by something, it is not a list. Okay? L list means that all this information goes together. It is, it, it is hierarchical or not, but all this information goes together. Okay? Now let's, let's, uh, let's talk about how we did our list. So, you know, earlier I, I used a little dialogue. I pushed the bulleted list button to get you know, get the bullets a list here. Um, but I want to make absolutely certain that the bullets <coughs> that that Word is using for my bulleted list are Unicode characters. Always, we always do this check. We always do this check to make sure that our bullets are Unicode characters. So in order to do that, we highlight the information that we uh, have created in the bulleted list, right click on it, and in the contextual menu, you see bullets and numbering. Click on that. It comes up with this very exciting um, dialogue that allows you to uh, create different uh, visual styles of your list. We've done that. And here's where we, we, we get to the exciting piece. Click Customize, and that will bring us up information about the indent and tab, we can make some changes to that. But what, what's most important to us here is the character being used for that bulletin list. So we, oh my, what have we found? We clicked on character and found that our bullet is a symbol. How do we know our bullet is a symbol? If we look down here, uh, and the character character code for this. Over right says, hand corner. It tells you this is a symbol. Okay? Now what we want to be using are Unicode right characters. This is symbols and wingdings and so forth and so on are not Unicode characters. Can you just back up and have them Yeah, you said right yeah, here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I wanna, I wanna do this really fast and then go back out and do it again. Okay. So, but if we wanted to have a bullet that was a Unicode character, does anybody remember what I said we could do to make sure that we're using Unicode characters for our bullets? Okay, I'm gonna repeat myself. You want to make sure that the that the symbols or that the um, bullets that you're using come from the same character set as the text that you're using. So right now we're in Times New Roman. We, um, you know, we can find a you know bullet that works for us here. And let's say maybe we want a star, or we want a symbol, or we want a, a draft. Okay. Oh, sorry. So, you know, say we want a, a nice little bullet, 
same, just about the same size as the other one. That's not a symbol. And how do we know it's not a symbol? For right here. It tells you right there, this is a Unicode character. You have happened upon a Unicode character. Good job. You can always find Unicode characters by looking in your font sets. Symbols and wingdings are not Unicode characters. Got it? Let's do that all over again. We're going to cancel out of it, cancel out of it. Let's do it all over there again. Okay. So what's my first, what's my, what's my first, who can tell me what the first step in deciding a bulleted list is? Anybody uh, remotely? Right click it. Yep, right click it. Good job. We can add a bulleted list by right clicking and going to bullets and numbers. We can use the little, the exact same uh, function on the toolbar, right? You know, that's it without it, that's it with it. That's it with it, without it, that's it with it. Got it? And then we go to cust and then we go to customize to ensure that our character that we've we've um, that we're gonna use for the bullets. You can use anything you want. You can use an arrow, you can use blah, blah, blah. as long as that that image or that um, character is a Unicode character, have at it. If your boss will let you use it, go for it. As long as it's the Unicode character, and you would know that by clicking character in the customize uh, field. Character. Ooh, it's not a Unicode character. How 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 do we go about finding a a bullet that's a Unicode character. Match the font. Huh? Match the font. Yeah. You know, we could get special and even use some other kind of font if we were if we were so inclined. But we're gonna we're just gonna you know be regular. Use our font that we're using now. And once you've done this several times, this um this dialogue here.